Welcome to this demo of Twilio Flex. I'm going to show you how to set up multiple channels of communication, intelligently route calls and messages to the most suitable agent, provide agents with a dashboard containing all the information they need to wrap up inquiries efficiently, and view live and historical data on a dashboard. So let's start by having a look at what you get when Flex is set up and running. Depending on your business needs, there are a couple of different options. Firstly, we can provide an agent portal, a, a custom branded agent portal like this. Generally on the left hand side, you'll have the call information and on the right hand side, you'll have dynamic information related to that particular call pulled in from an external system. We can customize the design of your portal Again, on this one, we've got the call over here and some information pulled in from a CRM or ERP system. And in this example, we have more detailed information about a product that the customer's inquiring about. If your team works inside a CRM, then we can provide uh, Flex as a slider inside, inside your CRM. This will become available when a new call or message is, is received. So let's have a look at how you set up your agent portal, the options you have for configuration, and afterwards I'll show you a live example. First thing you would do is either port your number or rent by a new number within your Twilio console. I'm going to look at buying one here, so I've put United States in as a, as a region put a dialing code in here and I've chosen voice and SMS capabilities and we get a list of numbers we can choose to rent uh, any one of these numbers for a dollar a dollar a month next thing we need to do is decide how we should route our incoming calls we can route uh, voice calls text chat and whatsapp messages as well as video calls and to do this we use task router uh, you can think of task router as the brain of your call center with task router we can specify how incoming tasks are routed based on attributes applied to those to those tasks and we can intelligently match those two attributes assigned to agents so these would be things like skills uh, languages uh, maybe their geographic location so this allows us to quickly push tasks to the best matching agent. If I open up one of our agents here, then we can see that we have skills attributes assigned to this agent for of sales and support. So examples of how this might work, uh, a message sent via a web chat form this will have the attributes of the form's intended purpose. So if it's a sales form, it'll have a sales attribute, it's a support form, it'll have that support attribute. And then we can route those messages to the best, the most, uh, the most suitable team. Uh, with SMS and WhatsApp, you might have a chat bot that asks some questions about a particular product the customer's inquiring about before handing that call off to a live agent and we can then route the call to the agent that has the training on that particular product range. And we can use uh, AI. So on a phone call, we can detect whether the customer is happy or annoyed, and we can then direct the call to an agent that has the sort of most appropriate seniority level. So with that set up, let's have a look at a working example. Let's go back into our, our CRM and you can see we've got a, an incoming task already. I can see that this is from a web chat form. Then I'm going to place a new call with I'm place a new call here, incoming call. I can see it coming at the top. Let's, let's select that call. And when we pick the call up, let me just mute it. When we pick the call up, then we can see 
some information on the right hand side related to who to, to the caller so I can see the, the person's name and we can see any associated records like companies or quotes or deals as well. Um, I'm able to open up that contact record from this page and continue, continue with the call whilst reviewing their contact information. So let's hang, let's hang that call up. Um, once we've hung the call up, we've got some time to wrap up our admin. If we've done that, we can hit complete and we'll be then available to take further calls or messages. So let's have a look finally at reporting. We can, uh, Twilio includes tools to create uh, any, number of, any number of dashboards. You can use drag and drop technology to create the sort of dashboards you need. In this example, we have a KPI dashboard that shows me things like uh, average handling time and I can see whether that's going in the right direction for us. In this one, we've got uh, call times by individuals and we can drill down into individual calls and can detect where there's periods of silence and we can provide down here feedback to individual agents based on this, this individual call. Uh, in this dashboard we have a heat map shows us uh, call activity by time of day and day of the week and we have a general dashboard here which can be configured to show uh, really what sort of information you need to see as, as a business. So that is it. We looked at how Flex can be configured as a standalone agent portal or you can view Flex as a slider inside your CRM. Uh, we bought a new phone number and looked at how you can use Task Router to intellig intelligently assign uh, calls and messages to the most appropriate agent. And we just had a look at how you can see uh, information uh, of your choosing on a dashboard to show uh, the, the KPIs you need and to manage performance.